Okay, so in this problem, I'm given a region and I'm asked to find the centroid of that region. So here R is the filled in triangle with vertices 0, 0, 2, 0, and 2, 3. Let me go ahead and draw that triangle. So here is a, not quite the scale, drawing of my triangle. So let's think about what functions make the lines that bound our triangle. I know my base is y equals 0. And I know that this other leg is x equals 2, right? Because I have the points 2, 0, and 2, 3. Now let's think about the hypotenuse. I know it intersects with the origin, so I'm looking for a line y equals mx. But let's find that slope. I can think about rise over run. So my height here is 3, and my run is 2. So y equals 3 halves x. All right, now let's think about what we have to do to find the centroid of this region. So we have to do, we have to find the average of each coordinate, right? And it's the same kind of format for the average x and the average y. I have a double integral over the region of the coordinate. So if I'm finding x bar, I integrate x. If I'm finding y bar, I integrate y. And then I divide that by area. So that's something we're missing is the area. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle. Well, I know my base is 2 and my height is 3. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. 1 half and the 2 cancel each other out. Area of my triangle is 3. So now let's go ahead and set up that integral to find x bar. I'm going to throw a 1 third out in front for my divided by area. So, now I need to set the bounds of integration. I've already figured out the functions that set the area of my triangle. So, I'm probably going to want to integrate with respect to y first, because one of my y bounds is actually a function of x. So, think about going up. I go from y equals 0 to y equals 3 halves x. And then for integrating with respect to x, I want to go x equals 0 to x equals 2. So now I'm ready to start integrating. And let's go with respect to y first. So the integral of x with respect to y is going to be xy. And I want to evaluate that from y equals 0 to y equals 3 halves x. OK. So let me start by plugging in a 3 halves x. 3 halves x times x, 3 halves x squared. And then when I plug in 0, I'm going to get 0. OK. I want to plug, I want to pull this 3 halves out of my integral. So 3 halves times 1 third, 1 half. So let me rewrite that on the outside of my integral and kill the 3 halves. Now let's integrate with respect to x. Integral of x squared is going to be 1 third x to the third. I'm going to pull that 1 third out, make it a 1 sixth. And then I want to evaluate from x equals 0 to x equals 2. All right. So I know this 1, 6 is going to tag along. Let's plug in 2. 2 cubed gives me 8. And 0 cubed gives me 0. So I'm looking at 8 over 6, or 4 thirds.
halfway there. <laughs> now let's do the same thing for y. So this is going to be pretty easy since I already have my integral set up. I need to switch out the x and the y. So now I have y bar equals one third double integral of y dy dx. Let's start integrating. The integral of y is going to be one half y squared. I'm going to go and pull that one half out front. Give me a one six. So. Now I'm going to evaluate y squared from y equals 0 to y equals 3 halves x. Well, y equals 3 halves x squared is going to give me 9 over 4 x squared. And then 0 squared is going to give me 0. Now I want to go ahead and pull that 9 fourths out. So Got the 9 fourths. And we got 9 over 24. But I can simplify this to 3 eighths, right? Divide the top and the bottom by 3. Well, this looks pretty good. Now let's integrate x squared with respect to x. So that's going to give me 1 third x to the third. I'm going to pull that 1 third out, give me 1 eighth on the outside. All right, so I have x cubed evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Let's plug in 2 first. 2 cubed is going to give me 8. And 0 cubed is going to give me 0. So I actually get my y bar to be 1, right? 1 eighth times 8 makes 1. So now let's just write this as an ordered pair. I have my x, 4 thirds, and my y, 1. So the centroid of this region lies at 4 thirds, 1. And that's our answer.